friends, uh, let us understand this concept of locus of control. To begin with, you need to answer a few questions. Try to recollect the three most successful events in your life and three most unsuccessful events in your life. Yes, I am asking you to just pen it down quickly. Maybe just three words, three events, that's all I am asking for. And now, those things that you have listed as of now, just try to write down who is responsible for it. So maybe you achieved a big recognition or you were appreciated in the family or maybe you got some kind of laurels in the company you are working for. Who is responsible for it? Are you responsible or you think that someone else was responsible for it? Of course, most of us actually credit ourselves for any success in life, right? When it comes to failures, say unsuccessful events, probably the answers would be that someone else was responsible for it. Now this is how this concept works. So Julian Rotter in the 60s gave a concept of locus of control. So in case I feel that I am responsible for whatever is happening in my life, I would say that my internal locus of control is high. In case I feel that no, someone else is responsible for it, I would say that it is external locus of control that is affecting me. Now to have a grip on it, uh, what is more important? So if I say that I am responsible, I take the onus, I make all efforts. So these people usually are leaders. They take control of their life. They don't believe in destiny. They want to carve out their own fate. So these are the properties that we observe in people with internal locus of control. As compared to say external locus of control, external locus of control people feel that there is someone else running the things for them. So there is a fate, there is a destiny. So I just can't do anything about it. It was already written by the Almighty that this is going to happen. So people are affected by that thought process and they do not make own efforts. Now the question is, is it really good or bad to have these separate locus of control? In case I go for psychometrics, I can understand better what is my level of internal locus of control and what is my external locus of control. So not going into psychometrics, it's on better understanding. You see, when a person says that I am responsible for everything on earth, well, probably that is an extreme. So too much of everything is bad. So what we are looking for is probably, yes, a person with internal locus of control so that we make our own destiny. Fine. But we should also remember that not everything is in our control. Taking blame of others is not a good idea, right? Saying that no, if weather goes bad, that is my responsibility. No, it is not. I cannot control weather myself. So I have heard people coming up with these ideas that in case it rains in the morning, I should have left my place early to reach my office. A great idea. One should check the weather reports in the morning. How many of us do it? That's a different question. Now, how early is early? Tell me that. What if it has been raining the whole night or it has been snowing the whole night? What do you do? Would you sleep in the office and go back, not go back home? Is it so? So we need to understand those extremes. We need to be a little realistic that is it really worth blaming ourselves or is it something really out of control? Usually when we work alone, of course, there are a lot of onuses there. We've got responsibilities and uh, we are the single point of contact for a number of things. But when we are working in teams, yes, we have to distribute the responsibilities. Internal locus of control helps us in understanding these facts as well. Or else we will land up into some kind of depression if I take all responsibilities of others on myself. External locus of control, of course, we should not be dependent on everything that is external. We should try to control it gradually as to what is going wrong with us externally. But these are the beautiful concepts that help us in understanding as still on my job. Do I have people with a similar thought process, with the same understanding that this is internal locus of control? Do we attribute or will we understand that this is what we are responsible for? So in case we have those team members wherein everybody has the same thought process, well, that team is going to be extremely successful with high internal locus of control. 
And if everybody feels that no, it is something beyond our control, well, the whole teamwork is going for a toss because nobody is going to work for it. So there are some people who say that the larger number of people working together, the lesser is the output because people tend to put their blame on others. But if you've got small groups around, probably they will take owners and they help each other. So there are a number of ways by which we can apply the concept of locus of control. So probably you can reflect back, what is your locus of control? Happy learning.